Good afternoon fellow foodies and welcome back to another food review. I hope you guys are absolutely fantastic. Now we're playing along with the Christmas theme because it's almost Christmas and we've got some Asda Christmas meal deals to try. So let's have a look at what we've got. The first sandwich we got here guys is the pulled pork apple and stuffing sandwich. Then we're followed with the brie and cranberry and that's French brie. Last but not least, we have the festive feast triple with turkey breasts. Look at that bad boy. Now let's have a more detailed look at what we've got. Hello guys and welcome back to another video, another food review and another Christmas video as well. Um, thanks a lot for tuning into this video, subscribe if you are new, now let's crack on with the action. So guys today this is basically a video all about Christmas meal deals and we've gone to Asda today to pick up some meal deal items. Unfortunately there was a little bit short on the sides, you know they didn't really have any. As 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 meal deals work, what you do is you pick up three items and then you get the cheapest one free. So altogether, these two sandwiches and a triple wrap, which I think is very, very reasonable for price, came to a total of five pounds and five P. Now that's not bad at all, really. I think that is very, very reasonable considering we have all this food. So I'm gonna be absolutely stuffed, but that's good because I'm absolutely starving. They didn't really have a great deal of size like I've mentioned, they had literally like a pork pie, like a pack of pork pies, two little mini ones, and they were like cranberry pork pies, and then they had something like a chutney and cheese pot as well, and that was literally it. So what I did was I opted to get um, three sort of mains as it were, is and make that the meal deal, and that was the meal deal actually. I didn't know, or I wasn't even sure if that would actually work, but you can actually get free sandwiches and that's classed as a meal deal instead of like a snack, a drink, and a sandwich. So, today guys, we're gonna be trying out these sandwiches, Christmas sandwiches, my favorite time of the year. I literally cannot wait. So now let's start off with the very first item. So first up guys, we're gonna start off with the brie and cranberry sandwich. Looked it in, fantastic. Now. Brie is very weird cheese for me because I am a big fan of it now, but you know, if, you, if I went back 10 years, I'll be screwing up my nose. Now, now of the hearty age of 27, Brie is one of my favourite cheeses. Um, obviously, I work in a dairy, if you didn't know, and sometimes we can get our hands on some Brie, and I've had it a few Christmases ago. And yeah, they gave us a little hamper, I'm thinking I had some Brie in there somewhere, and basically, it tasted absolutely amazing. So. On the occasional Christmas, I'll get myself a cheese board and brie will be the first sandwich going first. Looking at this sandwich, it's a brie and cranberry sandwich. With French brie, with a seasonal spoon of cranberry and pork sauce on malted bread. I'm not sure, and I can't remember how much these were individually, but I think they're all about... I know the, the wrap was about £2.90 and this was about £1.15, the cheese one. But I'm going to eat one of each, so you guys have a rough idea what it's like. So yeah, here's the fantastic sandwich itself. Ha oh, ha, look at that beauty. So let's give this a go, I'm absolutely starving. Um, it tastes okay. You know, it tastes okay. A, a fair decent ratio from cheese to cranberry. Nice little bit of salad in there. Malted bread is all my, always my favourite. I find brie to be quite a light cheese. It's not like strong like cheddar. So the cranberry sauce sort of does overpower it slightly. Although it is a really, really nice sandwich. Fairly light as well. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. That cranberry does overpower it a slight bit, you know. It's okay. It's edible, put it that way. Right, guys, let's go for the very next sandwich. Don't know if you can see that. You might be able to. My camera might be very good today. So, guys, today we... Not today. 
Now, next sandwich, we have pulled pork and apple stuffing. Christmas sandwich, love pulled pork. Pulled pork and apple and stuffing with British brambleys, that's apples obviously. Yeah, on white bread. So let's give this a go. Pork and apple, pulled pork, apple and stuffing. Give you guys a little close up of that one. This this sandwich looks absolutely jam packed, and it's something weird about supermarket sandwiches. Like I couldn't make this sandwich at home and make it taste amazing. It would just taste average. But you get it from a supermarket. They must fiddle with it or something, surely. Oh. Right, here we go. Mmm. That's really nice. I mean, the pulled pork tastes absolutely lovely. Really tender and juicy. The sandwich is not dry at all. Like in the other sandwich before, there's a really good, decent ratio between apple sauce and the pulled pork. And the stuffing has got so much flavour. I think you can taste a lot of sage in there. It's very fragrant, very tasty. And also the white bread as well. You know, it's nice to have some white bread. Malted is my favourite, although this is very soft and very, you know, very nice. I definitely rate this sandwich. Villa flavour. And it is also, it tastes quite light as well. It's not heavy on the stomach at all. That apple sauce is absolutely delightful. Really, really good sandwich. Love it. Now, guys, for the next item, we have the Festive Feast. Festive Feast Triple Wrap. Now, I'm also a massive fan of wraps, more so than I am sandwiches. And if you can get a triple in a shop anywhere, I'm all for it. The more wrap, the better. Right, so this one here, the Festive Feast with Turkey Breast. With pigs under blanket, stuffing, and a cranberry sauce, and port sauce, all in a tea. A, what? Stuffing and cranberry? Oh, whatever. I, I could start this again, but I'm not. You get the idea. So you've got turkey breast in there. You've got pigs under blankets. I don't know why they say pigs under blankets. That's confusing me. Fuck off! Stuffing and cranberry, and port sauce in a tortilla wrap. So yeah, you, oh, there is actually... Pigs and blankets in here. I'll show you. There is a sausage, so there must be some bacon in there somewhere. You can see the sausage there. You can see it. So yeah, there is pigs and blankets in here. There's cranberry. It looks very nice. Presentation's absolutely fantastic. Let's give it a bite. Mmm. Well, wow. that. That's the best one for me. Nice wrap is absolutely gorgeous. You know, the consistency of a wrap is a little different to a sandwich. Cranberry sauce in there. You've got the salty bacon with the sausage. You've got the stuffing, which is absolutely fantastic. Very, very vibrant and tastes absolutely fantastic. Lots of herbs and all sorts in there. And you have a little tiny bit of cranberry sauce, which sort of tops it off. For me guys, this this uh, wrap here is absolutely delicious. It's the best one. So, in my opinion, if I could rate these guys from top to bottom, you start off with the festive feast, the wrap, and then we have the pulled pork apple stuffing, and last but not least, we have the brie and cranberry sandwich. All of these are absolutely fantastic and very, very tasty. That's just my personal order as to which one I really like the most, but, this one here, guys, is absolutely the clear winner. So much flavour. Definitely going to finish this one off. It tastes absolutely amazing. So, guys, pop down to your nearest Anster to try out some of the Christmas meal deal options. Honestly, I recommend really giving them a go. I think they are absolutely fantastic. This one here, guys, absolute 10 out of 10 for me. And the other ones are fantastic as well, but in my opinion, just not as good. Thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. Subscribe if you are new. We're almost at 500 subscribers. Thank you so much. I'm totally overwhelmed. And, yeah, I really appreciate your support. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you later in another review.